Hello everyone, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can do a round trip uh, with footage shot on the Blackmagic Cinema camera, going into DaVinci Resolve 9, then sending those clips to Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 where you can complete your edit, and then sending those files back to Resolve 9 so that you can complete your color correction and edit, and finally if you want to, send those files back to Adobe uh, Premiere CS6. So to start, what you're going to do is you're just going to fire up DaVinci Resolve, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start a new project. So I'm going to add a new project down here. I'm going to call this project Round Trip. Create that. Now in this project, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the clips that I want to import. Pull your clips into your media pool. So I'm going to double click on this Round Trip folder, Clips. I'm just going to highlight these and drop them in. Now if you go over um, to conform, you'll see those are in your timeline, so you have them here. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but you could do uh, a color correction here um, if you wanted to for dailies. But since I'm just pretty much trying to show you the steps, I'm just going to skip right to deliver. And you'll see again the clips are down here. Now what I'm going to do in the easy setup is use Export to Final Cut Pro. Now even though we're using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, this will basically work exactly the same. So just go export to Final Cut Pro. And one of the things that's going to do down here in the settings is deselect render each clip with a unique file name. And what's that, what that's going to do is keep the same file name from your original clips, which will help you to relink the media when you come back into DaVinci Resolve. So with that done, I'm just going to set the folder to send the clips to. And I'm going to create a subfolder here uh, called Proxies, which is where the media will go. And now I'm going to add the job. And you may get this warning that says um, it may overwrite existing clips in this folder, but since I'm creating the new folder, uh, that's fine. So I know it's not going to happen. And I'm going to start my render. Okay, and now once that's done rendering, I can switch over to Premiere. And in Premiere, I've just set up a basic project file um, that I can import my clips into. So I'm just going to say import. I'm going to navigate to Round Trip. And you'll see it's created this proxies folder. And you can see my five clips here. And I'm just going to select those and bring them into CS6. And I'm just going to drag and drop these on the timeline. And again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing an edit here. Um, just something quick to give you a sense of how this all works. OK, and once I have my project edited, I'm just going to say File, Save. And that's just going to save my uh, Premiere project. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say File, Export. I'm going to export to Final Cut Pro XML. And I'm going to save here uh, this project, round trip to resolve. And now I can go back into resolve. And here I can go to the conform panel. And in the conform panel, what I'm going to want to do is import that sequence from Premiere into Resolve. So I'm just going to say File, Import, XML. And then I'm going to navigate to my project file. And here I have my round trip to Resolve XML file. I'm going to say Open. Now in this panel, I'm going to deselect automatically import source clips into Media Pool. And by doing that, what's going to happen is Resolve will automatically relink my original source files uh, to the XML. And that will get rid of those proxies that I created. If you leave this checked, it's going to bring in the proxy files and link those, which I don't want to have happen. Uh, I'm just going to say OK. You'll see my round trip timeline has shown up. I have a master timeline, which is my original clips, and my round trip timeline. It hasn't imported any new media, but it has linked to the clips. And if I go to color, you'll see the clips here um, from my edit. 
And now what I would do is I would go through and uh, carefully color correct these. Now, once I'm done with my color correction and I've got all my clips graded, what I'm gonna wanna do is go to deliver. And within deliver, I'm gonna do an easy setup to Final Cut Pro XML round trip. I'll select that. And I'm gonna render to my round trip folder and I'll make a subfolder of final color correction. And you'll see down here, it's switched this over to render each clip with a unique file name. And that will keep it separate from our original source clips. I'm just gonna add the job and start the render. And now that my render is complete, I'm gonna go back to the conform panel, go back up to file, I'm gonna do export XML, and I'm gonna do round trip from resolve. And I'm actually gonna save that in my final color correction folder. Okay, and now I'm ready to go back into Premiere Pro. This is my project file that I did my original edit in. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do import. And I'm going to import my round trip from Resolve XML file. When I open that, it's gonna ask me to locate the media. Here we go, select that. And as you can see in Premiere CS6, it's created this folder. So I open that up, you'll see these are my graded clips and a timeline that came from Resolve. So if I switch to that, you can see that shows up and I have a new timeline with my graded clips. So that's a quick overview of how you can take files from the Blackmagic Cinema Camera into DaVinci Resolve, push them back out to Premiere Pro CS6 to do your edit, then bring them back in to DaVinci Resolve to do your color correction, and then if need be, send them back out to Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 uh, for finalizing your edit. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful for you.